Hello, I'm Jenny. Welcome to my channel where we focus on using ordinary materials to make beautiful things. Today we're going to work on this cat uh, and I want to show you the before because I'm getting ready to scrub him down. I got him yesterday at a flea market. I paid two dollars. It looks like he's made from concrete, um, maybe uh, maybe something else, maybe molded, but it, he feels like concrete and he's hollow, but he's in pretty bad shape. So my idea is that I'm going to scrub him down, uh, maybe prime and paint him, and then we're going to decorate him and make him something really fun and fancy and cool. So I hope you'll hang out with me for it. I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, I'm back. As you can see, the cat does not look much different. Um, I have scrubbed him, and the black seems to be something that someone used either to treat him to make him sort of that color or maybe, um, I don't know, maybe stained with something. It doesn't really matter because I had planned on painting him black anyway. I'm just gonna kind of walk around him so you can see. He's pretty rough looking, but my plan is to paint him kind of a gloss black and then to dress him up so he's all beautiful. So I'm just showing this to you. You can see in the background right there, I just have some craft paint that I'm going to use. So not sure how many coats it's gonna take, but the next time you see him, he will be painted. So I just wanted to show you what he looked like after he was cleaned, and then we'll come back after he's painted. Okay guys, I'm back with my kitty cat all painted up. He's nice and, and painted dark here. So what I thought is I thought I would use an acrylic paint pen to do some doodling. Uh, and then when that's dry, I thought we would apply some of these lovely, lovely um, dew drops. They're metallic. I just want you to see how pretty these colors are. There's a couple shades of pink, there's blue, there's kind of a silver and gold. There's kind of a teal green mixed in here. Let me put a couple of those up here. Aren't those beautiful? So all shiny, I love this metallic shiny, they're so pretty. So my thought was, is I would do some doodling on it with a white paint pen and then we're gonna go back and um, use these to decorate the doodles. And it's gonna be super, super cute, I think. I hope, all right? <laughs> it's an experiment, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it will be. Um, so I am using um, an acrylic paint pen. This one's from Thule Art. Uh, this is part of a set that I got online from Amazon. You can get these individually and in sets. There are multiple brands. Probably the most well-known brand is Posca. Um, but you can get them at most, uh, like you can get them at Walmart, um, places like that, like individual ones. Um, you can get them at any of the craft stores. You can buy them online. And there are, there are lots of brands. You don't necessarily have to buy the most expensive one. Uh, and you don't necessarily need a whole set. If you do some of the rock painting, like if you do some of the mandalas and little, little cute little things on rocks, you might want a set. But otherwise, you know, you can just buy one or two uh, in, in colors that go with what you're doing. So I really like the white because it shows up. I use it to outline things when I'm doing art journal pages and things like that too. So I'm just, I have really no real plan here. Um, I'm just gonna do some doodling. So. Um, I'm just gonna kind of draw and then set it aside and, and let it let it dry. So I'm trying to figure out the best place to start because I'm gonna want to hold it, I think. Maybe, um, yeah, not sure. Might have to do this in, in pieces in order to, um, you know, let it dry in between so we can handle it because it is paint so you can't, you can't like draw it and then Hold it immediately you have to wait for it to dry so we'll we'll just kind of doodle some stuff and see what happens Apparently I can't talk and draw at the same time, so <laughs> this is normal for me, right? <laughs> Those of you who hang out with me very often know this, that as soon as I start drawing something, I just stop talking. 
but let's see. Okay, so I think, I think that's probably good for the back. Um, let's do a little dance. We just want to be careful where we hold them. Maybe by the ears. I think I want to draw maybe a flower on his, on his front here. some leaves
something like that. Let's just do some little doodads on him. face we might just put maybe just a little up here on his ears Let's see what we want to do with him here. Okay, I think, I think that's all the doodling that I'm going to put on him. So we've got some flowers and kind of doodle on the back and then just some designs and flowers on his front and then his little face. So that is going to need uh, to sit here and dry so that we don't smear the paint. Uh, so I will be back when that's dry and we'll put the finishing touches with some of those beautiful metallic dew drops on him and get him all dressed up. So I'll be back in a few. See ya. Okay guys, I'm back. This is all nice and dry and it's now it's time to embellish. Um, I'm going to be using art glitter glue and um, we're gonna. I'm gonna start with art glitter glue. <laughs> Let's put it that way because I think in the long run it will probably hold better. Uh, but I am concerned that I won't be able to glue them all on at once. So 
I'm not, I'm not sure I might have to like do some and then, you know, let them dry and then do some more. So that's, that's kind of where I, I am with trying to figure out how to attach them. So we have all these lovely, lovely, pretty, pretty beads to put on here. Um, those of you who know me, I did finally buy myself a pair of tweezers. So we'll see if that helps. Um, I've been, you know, struggling to, to uh, put beads and things on. Oh my gosh, I already picked it up. Look at that. That's gonna be so pretty. So I'm just excited to get started. So let's just let's just start gluing. So I am using, as I said, art glitter glue. This is fabric adhesive. Um, I bought the one, that one, just because I wanted to make sure it would stick fabric to fabric. I was replacing my um, Fabri-Tac when it ran out. Might've gotten a little too much there. I think I'd almost rather have a little too much than not enough. So because I'm just concerned about it staying on there. But it does dry clear, so it's not, it's not like I have to worry about, you know, there's a little bit of glue on the edges or whatever. I don't think we have to worry about that. So I love, I really like this pink one here. So I'm gonna put some down here on these dots down the middle too. Get that all blinged up. So I'm just excited to have my kitty cat all, all decorated. I'm not really sure where he's going um, because I, th I thought originally I was going to put him outside, uh, but I, I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to leave him, leave him inside. He may, he may sit down here in my, uh, in my art room. Let's see. Do we want different colors going down there? Got the light pink. Should we alternate? Maybe alternate the light pink. Um, so I didn't, I didn't really put outdoor uh, paint and stuff on him. Like I haven't sealed him. I might. I think I could probably still do a, a spray seal if if I wanted to at this point. Should I get some of that extra glue off of there? Um, a spray seal, you know, if I wanted to put him outside. But to be honest. The Arizona sun is is pretty brutal, uh, and things don't last very long out there. So, okay, so now I got that glue off, and I got a little bit of glue on here. So now I have to <laughs> see. This is what happens to my fingers. I I get sticky fingers because I get glue on my fingers too. So, okay. Um. So the Arizona sun is is brutal and. And I say that because I know, and I know most people are like, oh, the sun everywhere is brutal. It it is, but honestly, until you've until you've lived through an Arizona summer, um, it's it's really hard to describe how brutal the sun is. Uh, and everything here, you know, just gets sun rotted. Okay, dropped one. Uh, everything here gets sun rotted really fast. So, for example. If you have uh, wind chimes, you cannot, okay, apparently I can't do this and talk. Uh, you cannot um, have wind chimes that have anything but chain on them if you want them to last more than one season. So if you put wind chimes out that, that have uh, chain, that don't have chains, that have like the nylon string, or uh, rope or things like that. Um, unless it, I mean, if it's super thick rope, it might last uh, until next summer. It might last through the sun, the a year, you know. But if it's the nylon string that most of them are put together with, the fishing line that most of them are put together with, uh, or um, or the I can't even think of what it is. Rope, you know, string, the, the lighter light, just the little twisted rope. If it's that, one summer and it's gonna be, it's gonna fall apart in the sun, I, I guarantee. It's just the sun is so brutal and, and it's so dry that it just dries it out and rots it really fast. So, long story short, I, I think I want to um, make sure that he's not sitting in the sun. So if I put him outside, 
I might put him on my patio table where he's not really in the sun. Um, that's, that's shaded almost all day, like there's a couple hours in the morning, first thing in the morning where it gets a little bit of sun, but not a lot, most of it is shaded all day. So he might go there or he might just uh, stay down here in my, in my studio in my basement. So there's my cat, crafting with cats as always. So I'm just kind of letting this sit for a second and I'm hoping that that's gonna be enough to set that up and they're not going to move. I'm watching, watching, watching. Okay, what do you think? Should we put it on his face or just leave? I think maybe just on his body. I think we might just want to decorate the body. Might want to do his ears and stuff. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to tip him. Oh, let's tip him this way first, I guess. And do these dots down the side. So. Looks like the art glitter glue is gonna, it's gonna hold it. I was just really worried that they would move around a little bit because the glue is wet and then I might have to, have to get out my hot glue gun to put them on here. But I, I really feel like with the temperature fluctuations and stuff, this is going to be better. Okay, let's see, we did kind of that pink and green on there. I really like that kind of green. So those are those are bigger. Looks like looks like maybe the bigger ones. I don't really need to use my tweezers, All right? So I buy them, and then I'm like, nah, I don't need those. <laughs> As usual. So I'm gonna gonna go back with that kind of pink and green. I really like that kind of. I love these metallic these metallic um, gems. They are just beautiful. They're so shiny and so bright. And, and I think they're just a really pretty touch on this, on this uh, statue. And remember where the statue started. I mean, he was, he was really rough looking when I brought him home. So he is getting a new life altogether, which of course is the idea of upcycling and trash to treasure kind of stuff. I mean, he had, he was really rough and now he's gonna be really cute. I have a feeling that uh, my mother's gonna fall in love with him and I'm gonna end up giving him to her. <laughs> Which is fine because he'll go to a good home. So I'm gonna sit here for a second and, and do that. So we have those on the side, we have those on the front. And now let's see. Let's do some on the back here. So we had that darker pink on the back, on the, the front in the middle of the flower. So we can put some of the darker ones there. So. Since this one spirals out so much, I might put a few more on that one as well. I don't want to, I don't want to overkill it, but you know, you know me, there's no such thing as too much bling. So let's lay a few up there. If we put, if we put some out there, let's see if we did. Oh, can't even lay them on there. So maybe, I was just wondering if we did every, every like third one, the bigger flowers, what do you think? Kind of spiraling out. That might be, that might be good. We'll just kind of spiral it out. So there's one in the center. We'll skip three. We'll maybe start here. Go one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I have to count it out loud or I'll lose track. One, two, three. You know, you'd think I could just, you know, keep it going in my head, but I am, I'm definitely one of those people that needs to, needs to hear things, right? <laughs> I'm an auditory learner. So now I'm just keep dropping them. So this is fun because, you know, you can put just however many 
however many little blingy things on here that you want. And you know, I'm always of the opinion that the more bling, the better. So that is what I am going to do here. Oh, did I get one that wasn't quite the same color? Hmm. I seem to have chosen one that, oh, that one. Maybe it's not, maybe it is. Maybe it's just the light catching it. I think they might be changing color in the light a little bit. So, shiny and lovely as always. I think these dew drops are just so cute. Oh, okay, so now I'm looking at it going, maybe I should put more on there. <laughs> maybe I should do like every two and skip one in between. I don't know, should I, maybe I should just put one on every one. You know, what if, what if we put one on, on every single petal? That might be pretty, just one great big, like all the rest of them, we'll just put one in the middle and then on this one, we'll put one on every single one. See, this is what happens is like, you hand me jewels and gems and things like that and they're gonna end up all over the entire thing because I can't resist. It's who I am. But, you know, there are much worse things in life than adding a lot of sparkle to projects. <laughs> there are definitely, definitely worse things in life than doing that. Okay. Now I'm dropping stuff. So I think this will be good. We'll just put them all, put a whole bunch of them on this one flower and that will be the focal point then for the whole thing. And then all the other flowers will just get one in the middle. Okay, this is why I need the tweezers. Just to get my fingers in there because my fingers are too big. Okay. Yep, I probably should have done the ones in the middle first, huh? Oh well. Hey, Sarah. Nothing that we can't fix. Just got to pick them up with the tweezers. Now I'm going to have to learn how to use the tweezers, right? Because I have a feeling these require practice. <laughs> I have a feeling they might require practice. I'm, I'm doing okay, but I keep thinking I'm going to, you know, like squeeze it too hard and it's gonna go flying somewhere, which is probably exactly what's gonna happen to it <laughs> any minute now. So if you see one go flying, you'll know it's because I haven't mastered the art of tweezers, right? Do you find yourself doing that? You think, oh, I should have this tool and you get the tool and then you're like, oh, now I have to learn how to use the tool. <laughs> I have this tool that everybody made look so neat and cool. It's like the best, you know. And then, and then you get it and then you realize that there's a learning curve to go with it. <laughs> so, I was actually uh, watching a video um, from from uh, one of the people that I, I follow 
Her name is Lindsay the Frugal Crafter. She's got lots and lots and lots of followers. You guys may know who she is. I'm not sure. She's been around for quite a while. Um, anyway, I like her because she, she test drives lots of um, materials. So it makes it easier when I want to buy something. I can usually uh, check and see if she has some kind of video that, you know, she's tried it out. And I can see how it works. Oh, do I have, am I short one of the really dark ones? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, there's one more. Yay. Um, so anyway, she test drives a lot of like kits and different materials and things like that. And she does uh, comparisons and, and things. Oh, and I see, I like that. So that's all there. And then we'll just put one in the middle and like one in the middle of these. Um, and I think that'll be, that'll be good. I think we're, I think we'll be good to go then. Um, anyway, so I'm telling you about Lindsay the Frugal Crafter. Uh, so she was, she'd used, she got this kit for uh, UV, UV light hardening resin and it looked like so much fun so now I'm contemplating buying a UV light hardening resin kit and it it had it had uh, glitter and things in it but my thought was what if I got that little resin kit and made some jewelry and put some of these super cool gems in it wouldn't that be cute and so I'm seriously contemplating buying that little, buying that little kit and uh, trying it and just embedding some of these super cool little, little gems, some of these dew drops into uh, resin, which I think would be fun. So, and I think it'd be fun to do some jewels. I mean, you can make jewelry and stuff too. Uh, definitely it's with jewelry, but I was thinking it would be cute to make it, and then even if I didn't use it as jewelry, I could use it as like a dangle on one of my junk journals. Let's see, how many greens do I have left? Just a couple. Um, so I was thinking that that might be a really cute little, little use of some of these because they're so bright and they're so pretty. That I And I really like them and so, I think it would be fun to have some jewelry or dangles or something. All right, so there we go. What do you think? That, and we've got that one big one as a focal point on his back. And we go around to his front. Oh, there we go. Okay, so he's Mr. Cutie. He is a Mr. Cutie. So, I hope, <laughs> I'm gonna kind of hold him this way so we can see. I, I think I'll hold him this way so we can see all the decoration here. I hope you enjoyed this project. Um, I just wanted to, to show you that you can take something that's a buck or two that looks really rough and turn it into something super cute that you can put in your studio or give to somebody uh, or make like, he's a little black cat. I could even keep him for Halloween. I could have like done orange and, and gold and stuff and he could have been Halloween, you know, all kinds of things. So just when you, when you see things, just keep an eye out for, you know, something that you could upgrade, upstyle, upcycle into something else. So if you like this video, if you enjoyed it, please give me a like. Thank you to those of you who have subscribed. If you're thinking about subscribing, hit that button so you don't miss anything. Until next time, remember, use what you have to make your life more beautiful. Bye.